and nobody knows this that awesome games like this exist from the Chinese sphere because it's all about Japan Japan is stronger here in terms of like the animation influence and all the vid and video games especially not that that's bad I mean like I grew up on Japanese video games as well <laughs> yeah this game is is a throwback can see it's almost well this game came out in when did it come out like the original version came out in like what 95 I was 10 years old back then I probably wouldn't have been able to play this understood everything in this game too uh, no, just you sword god and and Taishan, smash it with Taishan, the Thai mountain. And yeah, you just hit him with these. Shui Hu Juan. Oh, I've never seen, I've never um, read that. I'm so like even my knowledge of wuxia is not that good because I didn't really grow up with it. The funny thing is like, but yeah, my. Like my mom has like maybe seen a few of it. My mom is not huge on them. She actually doesn't like like a lot of what me and like I like to watch is more period dramas. Like I don't know, like I mean there was a Da Song Tijing one is the immediate example that comes to my my mind. So I completely not on the the wuxia train until like recently where I'm like, oh, not all wuxia things are not are silly because there's a few silly ones I might have seen like not silly as in like they were intentionally trying to be silly but more like they weren't really up to par with the quality I was expecting of course historical dramas are really fun to watch because they're you well there's a lot of dramatization as well and some exaggeration but it's very like whoa like, political struggle is a lot fun to watch <laughs> it's what sums up that, that's about sums up how I feel. I'm surprised if you can read stuff like that, then your Mandarin must be pretty good. Like you, you, it wouldn't probably not be worse than mine if this, if you're reading stuff like that, unless you're reading in like a translation of it, which is different. Uh, I forgot if I. Are they coming from the right or the left? Ah, I forgot. Great, I'm lost. No, I came in this way, so... I was supposed to be over there. I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh no, another one of these. And of course there's like the... Um, I think the English translation that's like Legend of the Condor Heroes or something. Heard about that, but I've never actually read that. Or watched a show about it. Yeah, a lot of my Chinese I learned from watching drama, lots of dramas. And um, of course I my family is Chinese too. And like talking to them. And talking to Chinese people in general, like that certainly helps a lot. And even for this one, like even the translations I've done to this point, a lot, a lot of good people have actually bothered to correct my mistakes, and it's really good because it helps me as well. Uh, hit him with the hit him with the mountain. Yeah, only a few get the like, and it's mostly from Japan. Maybe. The fan translation community is mostly centered around Japanese games. And it's just a shame too that there's no. You would think with so many Chinese people around that we would try. Oh, <sighs> shit. Away, I don't want to fight you. I don't feel like fighting these guys. Oh, whatever. These 
guys are annoying because you can't kill them with physicals. Eh, whatever. I, I think I'll just kill him. He's too much of a pain to leave alive. I know it's sad, and like, and like, there's nothing wrong with Japanese games. There are a lot of good Japanese games, and like, that's why that, that's what they're well known for. But it's just like, yeah, Chinese games have a very different feeling, and like, some of the stuff that happens in this game are just—it's cr just crazy. You would never see this kind of stuff. You, you rarely see this kind of stuff in Japanese game. Oh, excuse me. The thing about Japanese games is like. A lot of them became so youth centric, or like, okay, okay. Let, to be fair, the the characters in this game are pretty young too. But it's just like there's like there's like stuff involving marriage and family responsibility and all that. And like it's pretty heavy at certain points, but this game in particular. And like, of course, there's some lightheartedness and laughing, but it's all part like there's some real consequences to what you have to do in the game. And like you feel it, and whereas in like Japanese games, like there's like well, like I guess bring up the Tail series, like it's so shallow in comparison, and it's not because they're bad. It's not the story's not bad. It's just not gonna go. It's not gonna go in depth. I don't know why I did that. Okay, got him. No level though. Oh my gosh, there are so many enemies. They're just throwing them in so to make sure that you'll grind, you'll get to grind your chance to grind everything. And like I, the last time I remember a game that they had real impact like this, it's like maybe Lufia Two, but that was not like a Super Nintendo game. Like. I mean, like, maybe, I uh, mean, Xenoblade, I really love the store for that one. That was really good. And that was, but that was different, too, so. But it had a, it was also a very good store. Yeah, it's a different culture and experience. Yeah, that basically about sums it up. Like, Chinese people are not afraid to talk about the hard issues sometimes. Or in Japan, like, you don't get married ever with like, a JRPG getting married? That's really rare. <laughs> like, that's almost never a plot point. And then here, like, you're married and you have a kid. And, like, that's kind of why you're fighting in the first place, right? Like, a whole arc was dedicated to Xiaoyao saving his wife and kid. I really hope I'm not backtracking by this thing. I don't remember anything anymore. Ah, oh, it would really suck if I was backtracking. Please tell me I'm not backtracking. Oh. I think so fast. Regular attack should take care of it. Yeah, not like you're gonna do any damage to me. Oh. Okay, I haven't been there, but that chest is there. So I think I'm going the right path. Yeah, modern games too. But the US is... So I'm guessing you're here, you're also in the U.S. So you've seen this stuff, like in person. I'm thinking like, I guess in. Uh, I haven't played a lot of Western RPGs. I mean, Western. I mean, European or American for that matter. Like Bethesda stuff. I know Sacrilege. I have not pl actually played gone through like an Elder Scrolls game or anything. I know you have a lot of freedom. It's it's different though. It doesn't Yeah. So I can't really say about West like I will say a lot of, like at least they give you a lot of freedom to do really funny, funky things. 
was I doing again? Like, I guess it's a different style as well. It's not necessarily better or worse. There's also a cultural difference too. Excuse me. Yeah, I definitely haven't been through here before. Oh, that's, I think that's something, it's like something spiritual mountain, but related to the spiritual mountain, I believe it's like a revival or an HP restoration. Not really important. My gosh, it's a never ending. This dungeon does not end. Longest dungeon ever. Right, it's all about the sandbox, which is not a bad thing, but Mung Port Mung Port Hang, I believe that what does that do? Let me see what the item does. But I believe it's something Mung Port Hang. Or Mung Port Hang. Uh Xiao Shu Oh, it's a rest. It's it. It resurrects you, a party member, and restore their HP by a half. I guess I've gotten some more. Right. It's more about you craft. You gain consequences. Oh my gosh! How where is this? Where is this going? Oh my goodness. Oh, I hate this one. Too. This guy too. He just takes forever to kill. Hmm. <laughs> Nah, uh, he's not weak to any element in particular. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll like went off the train for a second. Ow. I was thinking, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the US. <laughs> yeah, it's not the same style. And now the... Oh no, I, I didn't get lost. I was just like, where am I going? Okay. I'm like wondering, like, I like how this is just a long extended pathway just to get to a treasure chest. Oh boy, I almost got hit. Probably not going to avoid this guy though. This dungeon takes forever. I'm just like ignoring. Um, I actually could have just fought five more enemies and get Linger that extra level. He's not gonna get one for a while. I probably could do it. I don't know if I should be grinding. I don't know if this is the real final dungeon or if it's just like. But in any case, I'm probably gonna. Oh. Huh. I'm pretty much not going to avoid that guy. Yeah, I think I'll kill him. I think it's better if I try to get the EXP. Hmm. I haven't tried ice. I should try ice and see what happens. Uh, she doesn't have ice, so... Well, I think ice is an average against it. The guy in the middle, I don't care. about the same. <laughs> He's just resistant to any kind of magic, I guess. And that super area effect move, it hits so hard, too. 